Hey guys, Lord Mario 5 here, and let's go ahead and check out the PS Move service. There seems to be some issues arising with it. I'm not quite sure why, so let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll show you some of the issues I've been having. Now, as far as tracking is concerned, everything seems pretty smooth. I have PS3 uh, PS Move controllers, so as far as the megatometers go, they seem pretty good, but yeah. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna show you Super Hot VR first. I'm just gonna do the demo loop so we can just get right in. Now, Super Hot, when it starts up, it starts up to where you should be able to grab a gun. But that's not the case. Okay, so, as you see, I have my controllers in front of me. Now, I'm currently sitting down, so if I was standing up, you'd be able to see the, the thing up. Just to show you, tracking is working fine as far as headset tracking is concerned. But, if I look down, there's my hands. No amount, to give you an idea, we have the menu, there's where my hands actually are. But, my hands are currently down there. There's a table in front of me too. So that's why if I move down here, I lose a bit of tracking. And I'm sitting in front of the other two cameras behind me. So, but yeah, that's where my hands are in Super Hot VR. So let's go ahead and exit that and go to uh, Space Pirate Trainer. Where are you, Space Pirate Trainer? There it is. Space Pirate Trainer. So. <laughs> My controller's a bit off. But, but it should, shouldn't take too long to load here, hopefully. Okay, now as you can see, I have one controller, and that's all I have. That's it. Now, I'm going to press this trigger. Nothing. Not a darn thing. And no controller on the side. And just like I said before, there's my controller. So, I mean, they work. They track. But if you're in the game, nothing. Nothing happens. Except this one, this one does track. But, you know. So that's the issue with those two games. Um, next one we're going to show is Pavlov. Now I'll warn you, Pavlov doesn't look the best on my computer just because I have a GTX 760, as you all know, if you're in the VR loop. GTX, GTX 760 is quite a bit lower on the scale for VR. The actual minimum is supposed to be a GTX 970 or I believe it's actually a 1060 or something like that. No, maybe it's a 1050. I don't remember. But I know it's well above what I have. So, yeah. This one usually takes a minute or two to uh, work. So, let's check my, my camera seems a bit off, but Again, uh, look down, there's my hands. And I can look around, I have full six degrees of freedom head tracking, but no controllers. Again, I'm going to open up the menu here, and as you can see, my hands track with no problems. So... And this is a problem not only this is a problem not only in the PS Move service 
5.1.5, or excuse me, not the PS Move service, PS Move Steam VR Bridge 1.5.1. It's also an issue in 1.6. Both of them don't work. So let's just exit this. And then I'm going to show you one last thing here in mm -hmm. VR land here. And then we'll go over to the computer and switch gears here. So the mm -hmm. basic of the basic, the tutorial from Valve, if you click on that. Now this was just working not too long ago, but I guarantee you it won't work. So, if you notice, no controllers detected. Nothing. I mean, I have head tracking. That's working with no problem. And, uh, if it's chugging a little bit, it's probably due to the rendering. I'm also recording. I am doing it on a different computer, but it's being a little bit slow. Now, if I look at the Wheatley oh, wannabe, oh, I like to call him, oh, uh, you're here. from Portal. Welcome to he, uh, virtual reality. He knows I looked at it, obviously. But he's going to ask me a question here in just a moment where he's like, oh, look at your educational. controllers. Well, I can't do that because I shall be your they're not here. For the next few minutes to so show we're going to go ahead and end this. Works. Actually, I can't because get we're in the tutorial and it won't let you. Now watch what he does. Have a look around. Have a look around. We can do that. The circle you're standing in is called the play area. I'm actually standing the location in perfectly of your play because area because was defined area, during so setup. Anyway. This is where you will need to stand during a VR experience. Right, 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 right. Now, have a look at the controllers you're holding. This is where he says that, and as you can see, no controllers, nothing. I can't even go to this, the menu, but that's because it's not detecting my controllers. So let's go ahead and go on to the over to the computer switch it up and uh, I'll show you what it's doing with the built-in driver for driver for VR okay so the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to uninstall the PS Move Steam VR bridge um, from the driver source for Steam VR because we don't want it conflicting with what we're gonna be doing with uh, driver for VR so if you remember right, you can go up here to PS Move Steam. Uh, let's see, service install. Um, and I've done this in my one of my previous videos. I'll leave a link down in the description for it. But go to Bridges 1.5.1, and then go down where it says Steam VR Uninstall Driver Win 64.bat. Run that. Now that will uninstall the driver from the Steam VR directory. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, run the ghetto vive.exe. Everyone free pie and all that good stuff like normal. And then we're going to go to Steam VR and run it. Now, when Steam VR runs, it runs driver for VR automatically. And it's going to run our headset mirror and everything. Um, but when it all comes up here, what we're concerned about is actually right here. So we're going to change our hand tracking to PS Move Service Bridge Steam VR Driver. And then here in the Tracker Manager, we want to change the Tracker Manager and go to Open Toggle Device Support. And right here at the very top, PS Move Service slash PS Move Controller Support, we're going to click this and select it to be on. Now, once you do this, go ahead and click Start Driver for VR. If you've done everything correctly, your controllers will light up and they'll be marked down here in your Steam VR little panel right here. Um, now, there's a couple things. Now, my headset is at minus 90 degree correction angle, but there's something you have to be aware of if you're going to be setting this. Now, I'll be doing a full on tutorial on how to set all this up properly. Now, I did some uh, little bit of things, but 
the thing is, in order to make your controllers in the right direction and everything, you have to set your yaw to 180 degrees on both, left and right. The yaw for the world relative offset and the driver uh, absolute offset. Now, your guys' mileage may vary on these because your corrective angle, angle correction, may be different. So you have to you have to take that in consideration. Okay. Now, before we actually go back into VR, we do have to set up the um, room setup. Which I'm just going to do that real quick. And the reason is, is because when you switch from one to the other, your setup is going to be a little different. I'm just going to go ahead and do my setup as normal. <laughs> um, actually, I have my headset sitting on the table. So that's 30 inches. I have showed you how to do all this in the previous video. I'm just doing it real quick. Okay, now let's go ahead and head into VR and I'll show you what's going on there. Okay, now that we have our Steam VR set up in uh, Driver for VR, where it's all set up. Now, here's what's going on first. So when you press the thumb pad down, normally you can move it forward. And see that little dot? It's not going the correct direction. Normally you can move press in on that and move forward, and the little dot would go forward. Press go backwards, it would go forward. So, excuse me. <laughs> if you press the thumb pad and move it forward, it would go forward, backwards, it would go backwards, side to side, you know, like a thumbstick. But in this case, for some reason, it's it's backwards. Now, like I said, with the offset, the world offsets in Driver for VR, we were able to fix everything to where, you know, the tracking is the way it should be. So that's good. Now, let's go into a game and go from there. So let's go, we'll go Space Ride Trainer first. Hopefully it won't take very long to load. And as you can see, um, everything is tracking, you know? But if I click in, normally I would do that. But if I do that, it's the wrong direction. See? If I would click in and move to the left, I should be able to grab the shield. If I move right, I should be able to grab the electric thing. But that's not the case. Same thing on this. I should be able to move it around, but it's going the opposite direction. But it is working now. And that's. That's a plus. So the Steam VR driver that's built into Driver VR does work properly as far as um, seeing the controllers and all that stuff. So that's good. Let's move on to Super Hot Star. As you can see, my hands are working. Now I'll just get up and grab the gun. Here. So, as you can see, tracking working. Buttons Super are all working. Hot. Super. You know, as you can see, hot. everything's tracked Super. with no problems hot. with the driver for VR Super. version. Hot. Super. Hot. That's annoying. Super. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to attack this guy. I want to talk for a second. So, uh oh, I think my... There we go. So, with everything being working, it's working good. But the problem is, uh, the thumbsticks aren't working. So, I'll show you an example. So, let's go over to 
Pavlov and I'll show you an example. It's also very unfortunate because the Navi controllers, I have talked about the Navi controllers briefly before. So, as you can see, everything's tracking in Pavlov with no problems. So, I mean, so, you know, but if I, here's what's going to happen. If I move forward, or try to move forward, I'm going to go backwards. See, if I try to move backwards, I move forwards. So, but as far as tracking is concerned, thing. but yeah, as far as tracking is concerned, no problems. If you're wondering about Beat Saber, actually, funny enough, Beat Saber works in all of them except Steam VR Bridge 1.6. But yeah, everything works really well here. So, yeah. Let me exit Pavlov and we'll talk a little more here. So, Greg Driver, if you're watching this, I think the only issue with the driver built in to Steam or to uh, Driver for VR is literally the thumb pads. Because now I've tested this without the um, the offsets as well. It's the same exact thing. There's no difference. You know, I mean, I can't even go left. It's just, it's all over the place. It's not even where it should be. Um, it's it's messed up completely. But, uh, but, I mean, like I said, as far as SteamVR is concerned, it does function. It just has problems. Well, in conclusion, um, do I think the PS Move service is doomed or dead? I don't believe so. I mean, I think there's definitely a case for it where you can use it with the Connect 360 slash Connect 1 or the PS Move uh, eyes like I have it here using driver for VR software. The driver for VR software just has to be fixed so when you use the thumbsticks, it'll work properly. <laughs> and then also, hopefully, maybe there'll be Navi support in the future. Um, the other thing is, do I think the PS Move service project itself is dead uh, it could be I'm not sure I'm not a coder I'm not a wizard I wouldn't know um, do I think the PS Move service Steam VR bridge is dead yes um, I do believe that's the case because there hasn't been any activity from hipster sloth over on github since uh, December of last year and that in terms of software that's quite a bit of time passing I don't know if he's busy or, or if life's gotten the way I know for me, the reason I haven't been uploading videos is because, well, life and other things and, well, lots and lots and lots of technical glitches, issues, problems that has plagued me for the last two to three weeks to where, as far as trying to put new content out for VR, has been very difficult. Um, in fact, I tried doing a live stream the other night and 20 minutes in, I couldn't even get things to work properly, so therefore, I had to end the live stream. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you leave a like. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't yet, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and check me out on Discord. Link's in the description. And until next time, we'll see you later.